Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about AirDrop, what I like to call AirDrop 2.0. The next major update to AirDrop is here with iOS 17 with major new features and changes. And I wanted to share those changes with you guys so they understand what's coming with AirDrop 2.0 in the near future with iOS 17. So let's go ahead and dive right into this one. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. All right, so the first thing I would like to talk about is the ability to share large files with another user without having to stand next to them until the airdrop is completed. So for example, if someone decides to share multiple videos with you, right, it could take quite some time. So now you no longer have to stand and next to the person that's receiving that airdrop, you can actually walk away and using the internet connection on your iPhone, that airdrop will continue to deliver to the other iPhone without having to be standing next to the person. So this is a major update, of course, because I found myself oftentimes sharing videos or large files and having to wait next to the person to airdrop these files. Well, no longer do you have to do this. Now you can simply walk away and using the internet connection on both iPhones, this airdrop will continue to deliver. So this is a much needed update to airdrop coming to iOS 17, which I'm really digging. Another great feature added to airdrop is the ability to tap the other iPhone in order to share a file. So let's say you want to share a picture from your iPhone and you don't find the person here where you have your airdrop right there, I guess your radar you can call it, so everyone that's around you here, you now have the ability to tap the other iPhone on the top right there where the notch and dynamic island is in order to share these files and you get this really cool animation, so take a look at that. Isn't that cool right there? You can actually do this and share it directly with another person in case you can't find that person on your airdrop radar is what I like to call it here. So now you have the ability to do that. It is actually a little bit faster to do it this way as well, but you can continue doing it over the air just like before, as you can see right here. But now you also have the ability to actually hold another iPhone to the top portion of the recipient iPhone in order to share files as well. This is great for larger files to transfer a lot quicker. In my opinion, it works a lot faster this way. Next, I want to talk about name drop. This is one of the coolest features coming to airdrop this year with iOS 17 and now with iOS 17 you can create what Apple calls a contact poster so basically this holds your phone number your email address and things like that and now you can share these posters using airdrop by simply holding your iPhone next to another iPhone take a look at that really cool animation isn't that cool I can share any information that I would like from one iPhone to the other by simply holding them next to each other I no longer have to dictate my number in public to someone or email address I can choose what to share with the other person. I think this is a great idea. Again, this is name drop. And again, take a look at that really cool animation when you hold your iPhone. It's just so cool. Apple is definitely the best at animations with software. And there it is. You can now share with NameShare, your contact poster in iOS 17. I think a lot of users are going to love this one. Now, last but not least, I would like to talk about SharePlay plus AirDrop. So SharePlay allows you to share audio or videos with someone. Now, if you're listening to a song, you now use AirDrop to actually initiate or kick off a SharePlay experience. So let's say you're both at the gym and you want to listen to the same playlist. So you're playing here a song on your iPhone and you can actually, using the same concept, tapping your iPhone with another iPhone, just like so, holding it next to each other just like this you can actually share a song with another user or a movie or a tv show so kicking off share play experiences with airdrop is a new feature coming to the iphone now let me show you that animation again it's just so cool to see this animation so you share the song just by simply holding your iphone to the top of the other user's iphone and you can now share this song or video or whatever it is that you're watching to kick off a share play experience now it's still in beta as you can see here i don't have the album artwork right there but yeah you can click right here share play and now the other person can listen to the same song you're listening to on their iPhone at the same time or watch the same video etc and there you guys have it these are much needed updates and improvements to airdrop that I think you guys are going to really really enjoy in iOS 17 let me know what you think about the latest features added to airdrop I would like to hear from you in those comments down below thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one peace